Hello and welcome to my channel. Today is my second bicycle ride and it's the 14th of April and the tour today we will start um, here at the Prater Stern and we will go to the beautiful Vienna Prater. This is a really really nice area, a recreation area and we will drive through the Wiener Prater Hauptallee and uh, then we will cross the Danube River and then we'll go to the Donauinsel. Um, this, is a, this will be a beautiful ride as you can see in my background. Uh, it's springtime, the flowers are amazing. We have the tulips in the back, beautiful color and well, enjoy the ride with me. So, as I said, we're starting here with the beautiful Prata and we are now at the Prata Hauptallee. You see people are already enjoying this wonderful afternoon and the Prata Hauptallee is a very popular place for jogging. You can jog on on this side or you can jog on the asphalt and on this side we have the Prata Park this is a funny park um, you can see the Riesenrad it's not allowed to go there with a bicycle so I show you uh, from a little bit outside um, but let's continue uh, to get these wonderful impressions uh, and you see today is the 14th of April it's already warm it's about 23 degrees here and uh, a lot of people after work now are going for a walk there is benches here where keeping people can enjoy the sun but many bicycle people people on bicycles and we'll see many more attractions if I can call them during the way here at the Prater Hauptallee the Prater Hauptallee is around four kilometers long so it's an ideal place for joggers there are you can see already here uh, the first uh, joggers on the right side and bicycle people and here we already see the first restaurant I like this architecture and the colors we call the Mayare and uh, it's a really nice place to sit outside especially in the summer time so let's go a little bit first and when we go here we see the first skater park I'm not sure whether you are in skateboarding but it's a very popular place and see people and the young generation already have lots of fun doing their special tricks on the skateboard quite nice action you see here and also the bicycle riders are here continue our bicycle ride on the Prater Hauptallee you can see also children's playground also some sport facilities and here you have additional areas where people enjoy and again uh, you have a restaurant this is a famous Kolarik they have a couple of restaurants here 
One of it is the Schweizer house, very famous if you want to have a Wiener Stelze and the beer, this is the play to be. Um, then as we're riding you see the field hockey stadium. My son used to play here when he was young, uh, between five years uh, and 18. So field hockey is a very nice sport for uh, young people especially and he enjoyed it a lot and they were there every Saturday and Sunday and during the week doing the trainings and the games so beautiful memories of me being with my son here when you go further you see additional restaurants so you see people going with this rent a bike people are going also for picnic some enjoy it very much this area take the music with them so it's rather windy so I try to be closer to my GoPro which I'm recording here ah. There's also maybe some incident, the police is passing by, hopefully nothing dramatic, another big accident, so let's go and I think that's a good idea, I'll show you the Vienna University of Economics, um, I used to study, not here but another place, but they fully made a new campus which is considering of seven or eight uh, buildings each building was uh, constructed or designed from a different architect and uh, the most famous is Zahi Hadid which recently passed but uh, she constructed and designed the main building here and yeah let's have a look so again here we are at the Vienna University of Business and Economics you see already the first building in white and black rather nice architecture and as we are going towards the center of this university you will see all the other buildings you see not very much students because it's already starting to get the Easter weekend so people are already on the way on vacation let's go here let me check where I can go with the bicycle. Okay, I see here is forbidden, so I have to step down. Just a minute. So now a little bit of walking, and you can see as we enter this campus the different uh, buildings. And as we've seen here at the beginning, the white and black building has another very interesting architecture. You can see here and these brown colors. And it's really something special. And if I would have been young, studying here in that campus would be really, really pleasure. You can walk, you have restaurants. Uh, in the summer you can sit outside study you can also do some um, workout in some places and I see here there is a startup center for entrepreneurship so a coffee house so everything you can uh, imagine or you can wish is available here at this university just remember when it opened up a couple of years ago 
I used to be here with a couple of friends and we took a lot of photographies here because it was so fresh and new and exciting and as I love taking picture of architecture that is probably one of the fascinating place of modern building and architecture and here as I told you this is the building from Zaya Hadid um, this famous architecture this is the library and really great architecture you can see I don't have all the details I'm sorry because it was just went here spontaneously uh, taking a look at this building but I can write it in the YouTube comments maybe also with some links so really really special architecture here there is a shop inside and I said this is the main uh, library uh, where people can borrow books probably most of the things currently online but I think a library is something it has to be in a modern university and you see the place people are already outside and the architecture buildings so one two three four five six seven six or seven places we have here um, parking spaces and uh, different colors so here you can see the description so as I mentioned this is a library and here is a little bit about the whole campus I'm not sure where you can read it but you can see the different colors of the different buildings and uh, the walking area is really nice building oh, quite a extensive wind so I hope you can still hear me and that's about it I think we had a good first couple of minute impression of this beautiful area and um, let's continue our bicycle ride in the Prata the latest impression of this beautiful building so now we're heading a little bit outside of the Prata so it's called the Obere Prata which I just learned on the sign and uh, here are some beautiful apartment buildings they must have been built I don't know a couple of years ago because I haven't seen them the last time I was here but uh, really nice architecture and uh, they also have nice uh, road areas for the for the bicycles and well it's really impressive um, let's have a look as I said I haven't seen that one the last time I was here so very nice architecture it's really calm area not many cars are that in that area so very nice let's go a little bit inside I'm not sure whether this is allowed let's hope and it's a nice square so in the back I don't know whether you can really see it uh, this is the uh, Prata Stadion oh it's really windy here so excuse me for the bad quality of my voice I'm experimenting a little bit with some microphones um, but yes this is a really nice area uh, I see also some 
office is here where people can work and probably live very close so sitting outside it's already afternoon so people going with the dogs well it's a really nice area also for working so you can sit outside you can have a walk and this used to be a race horse race area I remember when this was still in function now we see it has been I don't know deconstructed or reconstructed so probably this so this would probably uh, the next area where they will build um, apartments or offices I still remember there was a golf club in the middle of this area oh, this was about 20 years ago so you could there was a driving range and other areas so very interesting and here you can see what is that the Kreawa Beisel so where the horses used to be there don't think there are any horses here or just a few left let's have a look I'm really curious to how this looks now ah okay so everything is empty lost places nobody here let's go a little bit inside see if there is anything here interesting see if there used to be the horses inside but as you can see nothing here anymore this is all history of the past so this he says Trapren trainer Gerd Meyer it was probably the sea also here interesting things but yeah that's about it that's quite a sad story because it used to be a very nice horse riding area but well probably that's that's the way it has to go nowadays people need offices people need apartments people want to stay in a calm area so let's see if you hear something moving or not nothing ah here is here is a nice tree again here memories of a different time so here you can go so this is closed I think it is a bike we can pass that place easily let's go there Again, all the buildings here too. So, which way to go? This is closed, so I think that's the way we're heading now. We're heading back to the Prater Hauptallee. So again, you can see if you see a little bit more if you drive off the right a little bit further. Ah, it's so sunny, it's so warm, I can't can't believe it. One week ago it was nearly snowing and cold and now 
it's so warm everybody enjoys it being out on the street with no jacket just nature and green let's see if we can go there I think it's closed <coughs> but let's have a look maybe we can have a sneak peek how this used to to look Probably in a couple of years this area will be full of offices and apartments as you see in the back. So I think to see any more where so in a couple of minutes, probably in one or two, I see in front of me already the Wiener Prater Stadium. Um, it's called now Ernst Happisch Stadium. Um, this is the stadium, the football stadium, uh, where most of the national football games are taking place. And uh, it has been renovated, reconstructed several times um, and I remember also being here for a couple of games uh, watching the Austrian National Football Club well we were mostly losing but that's another story so let's go a little bit on the side Well, it's not really, really beautiful to be honest, or somehow exciting. But um, yeah, it's one of the biggest stadium, and there would be no other possibility. It used to be also some uh, rock concert. I remember here Michael Jackson, the Rolling Stones. Everybody who goes here uh, to Vienna for a concert, um, for having a big audience, probably goes here. So I'll send us here to the other side. It's a little bit more safe. Yes, it's better. There we go. Go. That place outside. Why so we don't park here? I think the entrance with a bicycle is free. Let's hope. Um, and uh, this is a parking space for the football stadium. Let's go there. It's quite big, so a couple of roads. And um, I'll show you something interesting now. And this is uh, the Wiener Stadion Bad. So it's a place, an official swimming pool place. I don't know what you call it, public uh, swimming pool place. I'm sorry, I lost the, the word in English and uh, probably it's not open yet it was a very popular thousands of thousands of people come here and during the summertime who don't have their private pool or are not able or willing to go to the sea so this is the yeah they borrow you don't see a lot but uh, it also leverage this parking space lots um, so when lots of people come they park here and they go to this 
Wiener Stadion Bad. So, I think we are now back, yes, at the Prater Hauptallee. Yes, we are. You see the jogging people, you see the bicycles, you see the people are walking. Again, straight road, four kilometers, recreation centers left and right, and some nice water here so you can speed a little bit, bit up here so it's gonna be a driving for a couple of minutes so I'll leave you here so let's talk in a couple of minutes over so here now on the, the bridge and uh, so now we are going along that that bridge above us is a, a major highway which goes all through Vienna so many many people go there every day commuters from the different areas and um, yeah, well, the city is trying now to, let's say, incentivize people to use more public transportation, um, bicycles. So that's why they are building more and more bicycle roads. So it makes it easier for the people and safer to go to work from home and back so this is one of the the roads especially which is alongside the autobahn the highway you can see here already small buildings with backyards flowers Under the bridge. So, a little more careful to disturb people. Oh, you hear this drumming? Oh, no, yeah, there is a circus. That was a noise.
going now down very interesting way you have to be super carefully concentration not to bump into another bicycle so safe slow not too much risk especially when you have on one hand the camera the GoPro is advised not to overdo it but I think we're coming close to the end yes here we go and now we are tada we're at the Donau Insel then looking for some traffic Usually there are cars here, so they are not allowed to be here. Don't handle. You can only go here if you are a gardener, police, or special permission. Yeah. We are here. So you can see also. Go. That place. Let's see. I find something interesting. I'm gonna show you this area. Well, that's not very nice here, but give me a couple of seconds. And then we have a nice bridge with a nice view. So here we are. So again, as the last time I showed you on the video, this is part of the venue. Yeah, the venue. And we have a look on the other side. Let's just stop a little bit. I can show you this wonderful panorama okay to change the batteries so see you in a couple of seconds so welcome I'm back fresh batteries um, for my GoPro and uh, now we're going back to the Donau Insel show you a little bit the different parts you see how the such is in different areas to relax so here we go decided to go down to the waterfront so we have a really nice view and experience of this area you can see people relaxing people strolling sitting enjoying bicycling everybody's in a good mood as said this is starting of the Easter weekend and obviously with this fantastic weather so people are heading out outside and uh, the Wiener Donauinsel is a perfect place to get the sun do some jogging, bicycling, all the things after a long, long pandemic 
uh, phase nearly two years who have thought at the beginning that this will take about two years and still not 100% finished but yes this is we are back back in the beautiful freedom as I say uh, people need to uh, work out because I've been too long inside so you mostly can see smiling faces with a lot of positive energy and uh, yeah, as you can see here as there is a little bit windy today the surface I don't know whether you can see this too small on the GoPro camera but I think that's a great way if you're a surfer and you don't have much time you stay in the city and you really uh, enjoy here this area especially the when, when the windy conditions I think it must be a lot of fun let's see if we can catch some nice pictures of let me see okay. The surface, some nice videos of the heroes of the water. Here is this beautiful area. Blossoms. I think these are the cherry trees. I'm now on top of the Dona Insel. There's a middle road and there are black left and the right. There are also areas close to the waterfront. But I decided now to go up, show you a little bit more action. See another bridge, it's just for pedestrians. I see the area, playground. And now we're on the other side of the Dona Insel and you see beautiful landscape of the Danube and behind this Vienna somehow city center area. Children playing.
left, on the right, and on the left. So it's really a pleasure to be here and the privilege, of course. Um,
Ich hab den Polster auf meinem Mann. 